what's up guys we are still updating you what is going on what is trending in nigeria greetings to you wherever you are all right um you have seen that already on your screen um i want you guys to also put in your uh, contribution because there is a whole lot of reactions uh to this move atiku abubaka uh peter obikwan kwasa all right in talks to back a candidate all right uh it was disclosed uh by uh, PDP Deputy National Spokesperson, all right, during an interview with Sunrise Daily on Channels Television. So there is a whole lot of reaction, and I want you guys to also put in your own reactions on that. Of course, we are already aware um, about the, you know, the heat up and the tension ahead of 2027 election. And this is a nice move uh, personally for me because uh, there is no way APC will not retain power in 2027. If all other political party wants to, you know, contest individually, what APC needs now is a formidable or third force political party. That is just it. Without that, forget about it. And already APC is doing all their best to make sure that they capture almost all the state in Nigeria. You can see what is going on in Edo State. Um, this person, Adam Zoshumule, is at the verge of getting back uh, Edo State from PDP, all right? Taking Edo State back to APC. We all remember what happened now during the Godwin Obasiki before he won election under the platform of uh, PDP, you understand? So um, Adam Zoshumule is doing everything he can to make sure that he gets back a those states. He gets back a those state uh, to APC. And then the weekend on the other side hey, will deliver. That is just the truth. He may deliver for PDP for governorship, but for APC, Wiki is there already. You saw what Wiki did during 2023 election. All right, but um, however, let me know what you guys think. A whole lot of reaction to this. Um, a lot of reactions is making sense to me. Let me quickly give you a reaction of somebody by justice, named by justice, on the official um, channel's television, X Ando. Justice here said, Kwan Kwaso is already a snitch of the APC. Anybody who goes into talk with him is already wasting his time. There is a reason the Chicago State Diploma Certificate Forger, blah, 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 I'm not going to talk about that, is not prosecuting him or um many as like malam something something okay let us uh, leave that uh, reaction but someone said here kwan kwaso is already a snitch of the apc what do you guys think about that all right another person here said the real question now is who will be the president and who will take the vice president 2027 is shaping up to be a long year may the almighty spare us then another person here says we are waiting to see the candidate all right so there is a whole lot of reaction here and then i want you guys to also uh, put in your own reaction what do you think about this uh you know these talks this major they are planning a kind of a major okay coming together uh, to see how to you know, take over power from APC come 2027. Personally, for me, I think it's a welcome development. Now, don't forget, um, uh, Peter B have a movement. Even in 2023, if uh, Peter B and Kwon Kwaso had met, because they were also in talk, but the camp of Kwon Kwaso say, ah, uh, our Oga cannot be a deputy a running mate to Peter B. And uh, Peter B's camp, Say ah, uh, Obi Obi cannot be a running mate to Kwan Kwaso. You understand? So they had to go their different ways. The talk was not uh, successful. It didn't yield any fruit. Uh, but I really don't know if this time around their talk will yield any fruit. That is just the truth. All right. So what do you guys think? And then another issue is, don't be surprised. Let me tell you the truth. This is politics. Don't be surprised, this talk is just another way of distracting all 
candidate. You know, Tinubu is a politician. Let me tell you the truth. Tinubu is a politician. He knows how to play his game very well. So who knows if this talk here is just to distract Bodati Kwabubaka, uh, Peter Obi, and Kwon Kwoso. Because after the uh, 2023 election, we all have seen how Kwon Kwoso uh, become close to Tinubu, and one will begin to wonder what really happened. Yes, Kwon Kwoso have a Kwon Kwasiya movement as well. That is in Kano State. Uh, if you are able to grab Kano State, then good and fine. You are sure of winning, at least halfway of winning election. Kano State have uh, a lot of population. So Kwon Kwasiya have a movement. Uh, uh, Kwon Kwoso have a movement. Peter will be have obedient. Articulated is there. But who will be the president who will be the running mate, or who will they choose? Now, this is where the problem comes. Because the Kam of Atiku, excuse me, the Kam of Atiku will, uh, wants Atiku to front it. They will say, ah, our guy is competent. Atiku is the man. Atiku is good for the job. Uh, he cannot be a running mate for anybody. Moreover, he was already a running mate uh, to Obasanjo. He cannot go back to a vice uh, president. That is it. And now the camp of Kwon Kwoso will say, ah, Kwon Kwoso ah, is educated, he's a good politician, he has what it takes to rule Nigeria, and they're about. Now, Peter will be here. Everybody will say, no, Peter will be cannot be a running mate. Uh, Peter will be have what it takes. Already he have a movement, all those issues. Now we can see. The difference is there. Even Kwon Kwoso himself, where he's come, uh, claim that Kwon Kwoso is competent, he's good, Nigerian law. Obedient, Peter B, you understand. Peter B defeated Kwon Kwoso. The only place, the only uh, state Kwon Kwoso had vote was in Kano State, but Peter B had vote literally all the 36 states. So you cannot compare the two. That is the truth. And remember, even... Um, uh, Boba Galadima in 2023, Boba Galadima already, uh, uh, already made it clear to them that if Peter Obi and Kwon Kwoso had come together, Nigeria would have concluded election before 12 o'clock uh, in the afternoon. 12 noon. Election would have been over before 12 noon. But because they are calm, none of them, no grief for anybody, okay? That was what happened. No grief for. So now that this three is coming together, who will grief for who is what we should be asking. All right? Who will grief for who? So none of them, for me, it's a good idea, but I don't think it will work out. Simple. I don't think this, their talks will work out. I'm telling you from experience what happened in 2023. And who, who knows if, it is, it is not a ploy to distract the three uh, candidates. It may be a ploy. Tinibu is a politician. Nobody knows what is going on. Tinibu knows how to play his game. And now the information we have is that Tinibu is trying to shake, uh, to shovel uh, his cabinet. You understand? To put people that is loyal to him in places ahead of 2027. So, personally, it's a nice idea. This is my own personal opinion. I stand to be corrected. You understand? Personally, for me, I, it's, it's a nice idea because this is the only way. If only the three candidates will understand, come to understand it, that this is the only way to defeat APC in 2027. Even the same APC... Don't forget, ABC is a, a combination of five political parties. So if these people do not come together to agree, to agree on something, you understand, forgetting about pride, because even APC itself, even APC is, five, is a combination of five political parties. That was how they were able to defeat PDP. They wouldn't have. APC, um, Rocha Zokorocha brought a Abga to APC. Uh, Buari brought CPC to APC. Uh, Tinibu brought um, ACN. 
to APC with, I think, one other politics, well, yeah, one other political party like that. They came together, formed a third force political party. That was how they were able to defeat PDP. So if only these three will understand that the only way for them to defeat APC is for them to merge, form a third force political party. Without that, leave and forget, it will not work out. You understand? If only they will agree. All right, guys, so that is the latest. If you have anything to contribute, put it down in the comment section below. See you in another update.